Hey guys, Flamer coming at you once again. And uh, before I start the video, um, you're probably now seeing something a little bit different. That is the background. I had I haven't lost my green screen. It's just that uh, I had left it somewhere where I can't find it. Okay, so I have lost it, but still. Um, I will find it, though. I, I know it's it's probably somewhere, but, um, yeah, for right now, I'm just going to use my bathroom door right here, which I think is a good area to use it in. Yeah, anyway, uh, today I'm going to be reviewing two of my favorite uh, dinosaurs, or dinosaur figures I have. And, uh, personally, besides, like, Velociraptor being my favorite carnivore, uh, my favorite herbivore is Parasaurolophus. So, today I'm reviewing the... Terra Parasaurolophus and Schleich Parasaurolophus. Um, let's maybe get these two in the camera right here. Now, personally, these two are my favorite figures right here. Um, just cause like the way they're detailed and stuff. Like, yeah, I mean they're on their they're on their forelimb, like they're on all fours, which. I mean, like, it's not a big deal, it's, it's pretty accurate, but it's like, I wish they were kind of, they, ha they can stand up, like, they were standing up. I mean, you can do like this, but, we'll just fall over, and the other one can kind of do it, but, you know, if you're not careful enough with this leg, and, you know, it'll, it'll break, but, um, well, not break, but, you get my point. Anyway, um, let's move the Schleich one, and just start, start the review with these Terra one. Now, I like the Terra one, just because, like, the fact that, it's, the crest is just beautiful, like, the little webbing on here, and, like, the way the neck is, like, sure, you got a bit of, like, the rubbery thing, where you can, like, bend it really easily, and, like, it can break if you, like, rip it hard enough or whatever. Uh, that can be a problem, but, you know, who cares? I mean, as long as you're careful with it. And it does have a tendency to, um, flake a bit on the black, like, I don't know if you can tell right here, but, uh, it's a bit of flaking right there, which I can fix, I can just paint it over and stuff. Um, and then, like, the way it's positioned, like, the, the, the way the foot is positioned right here, it's like a, like a hoof, almost, which, <coughs> excuse me, um, which I do, I do appreciate it looking like, it's, it's definitely beautiful. <coughs> <coughs> and, uh, also the way the, the back legs sort of, like, also, it's, um, uh, they, I don't know, I don't know what it is, like the, I guess the toes or something, the toes are just beautiful, like the way they spread out, like when they, when they, uh, step on something, which is very beautiful, which, it, just the way, that, like, the thing is, posi the way the parasaur office is positioned is, I would have no problem thinking that this is a real dinosaur, especially the color choices they did, like with the black tail, it kind of looking like an iguana, and I like the fact that you have, like, this brown, and then you have this lighter white brown, you have, of course, like, the yellow right here on the webbing of the crest. I mean, like, sure, you got that rubbery thing, like, again, but it's like, you know, it, it, you have to be careful with that. Plus, you know, it, everything can't be that perfect, but, um, but yeah, as a bit of a size comparison, here's my, uh, what's this one called again? Uh, oh, yeah, Safari Pachyrhinosaurus and my Schleich Tyrannosaur. It's about in between with uh, with both of these guys. Like um, here, let's get a bit of a front view, side compares. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, front view, side comparison. Yeah, you definitely see like the sizes right here. Definitely bigger right than the Pachyrhinosaur, and definitely smaller than the Tyrannosaur, which. Uh, press, which is pretty accurate in like size. I'm not. Sh I, I I forget if Parasaurus is bigger than Pachyrhinosaurus or about the same size, but I definitely do know that Tyrannosaur is definitely bigger than uh, both of these guys. That that is something I do know. But uh, yeah, we them to the side. All right. Well, now let's move on to this other one right here, which is my Safari Parasaurolophus. Now, the Safari one is actually really good looking. Like, yeah, there is mine is in a bit of a a horrible condition just because like the flaking, like the color spots, I like, kind of ripped off. It's in terrible condition. I really should have taken care of this, but I got this one when I was like when I was like ten, so I really didn't care for like. Keep it in condition, but now, now, nowadays, I do keep it like try to keep it in condition. 
a lot of my dinosaurs like that. Like the Micro Raptor is pretty, is new, so I, I keep that one in more condition. The uh, the Apatosaur, that one is in pretty good condition also. <coughs> Even though I got that one around when I got this one too. Uh, <coughs> excuse me again. But um, yeah, like, this one is just, it's gorgeous. Like, the, like besides, like, the tarot, I do like this one a lot, too. It's, like, I, I can't choose in between between them, but, um, yeah, like, the, you see, like, the way the crest looks, like, the yellow into the brown right here, which kind of mixes in, which is good. I mean, you definitely see, like, the plastic, like, piece, like, that's, like, kind of separate, of course, so can't look perfect. And, like, the way the crest is connected to the beak, to, or the bill, or whatever. Yeah, that is just beautiful, and like the way, like with the mouth and stuff too. It's it kind of looks like it's wearing a helmet for some reason. I don't know why, but I think the most beautiful part is the nostrils right here. If I get let my camera focus. Uh, let's see here. It's all right. Well, I guess this focus is gonna get anyway. Um, yeah, but like the nostrils are just beautiful. Like you can see a bit inside. I mean, it's gonna be kind of hard, but um, you know. Then the eye is just gorgeous also, like the way it just looks, like it's looking around from like food and stuff, or it's just like standing up, or it's just like, you know, just walking around. And then like the pore, like you can see the pore right here, like the the ears where, well, I'm not sure if they're called pores or ears, um, uh, whatever. Then uh, like the, 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 there's one thing, it's just the front feet. I mean, I get what they're going for, it's meant to just, it's not really meant to look like, ac it's it's pretty accurate, it's definitely pretty accurate, I'm not get, I'm not saying that, but like, the fact is just that, I, I, the reason why I like, here, let me bring this one back out again, it's just like, this one's more hoof-like, like it's walking, like, on, it has hooves, this one just looks like it's just, has like it's bare knuckles, like, like a gorilla almost, or just like, I don't know, like, it has its hands just spread out, like, like the way the foot is, like, I, I wish it was, like, the tarot one, but, um, you know, I can overlook that, but, uh, yeah, the, but the back legs, those are beautiful, like, especially the way, like, the, they're positioned right here, um, little problem, though, this one, like I said, with the condition, this one's front leg has been pushed up a lot more, just for, like, being in, uh, being, <coughs> I apologize for that too. For being like pushed up from like other dinosaurs, like being piled, like being having piles of dinosaurs on top of it, so you know it kind of screws it up. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry again, but yeah, the spots are beautiful too. I do like the spots and like the striping it has like on its spinal, and like the way the tail is, like it's ready to go. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, it's nice. Definitely nice. Um. Yeah, though, like, like I said before, like, the condition it is, like, it makes it kind of top-heavy on this side because, like, the leg, but eh, I could probably fix that maybe if I could just bend it a bit and then just, like, maybe put a little heat on there so it just bends it easier and then just let it sit out. Nah, who cares, but no. Yeah, and the tail is just beautiful. Like, it's nice and long. And cute. Like, it makes it look like it's balanced and everything. Like, I would definitely have no problem thinking that this is a real Parasaurolophus. Like, if there was, of course, if there are ones around, but still. Um, now, for another size comparison, let me bring out the Safari Pachyrhinosaur again. And the Schleich Tyrannosaur. Uh, bigger than the Tyrannosaur, smaller than the Tyrannosaur, and a little bit bigger than the Pachyrhinosaur. Let's maybe do a side comparison so you can see a little bit better. Yeah. Definitely bigger. Medium. Small. Not sure if that's accurate still. But yeah. I, I'm, I mean, with the Pachyrhinosaur. I know it's smaller than T-Rex. That's, that, that's something I do know. But I forgot if the if the Pachyrhinosaur is bigger or smaller than Parasaurolophus. If you guys know, let me know in the comments because I I completely forgotten. All right, well, uh, in that case, let me just move these guys out of the way. Personally, I do love Parasaurolophus. It's like, it is my most favorite herbivore just because how beautiful they are. Like they're they're like elephants almost. I mean, in a way, they kind of are because like they have like that the crest on them makes them 
like ha make that certain like trumpet sound and that's what kind of elephants do too like they use their noses and stuff but um or trunks not noses but you get my point <coughs> all right well anyway guys so um yeah guys so if you see these like if you see it Terra those are pretty common like you can find those at Target or Walmart or whatever I, I would I, I highly recommend getting this one and I do highly recommend getting the Schleich but don't do what I did and keep it in horrible condition I mean I'm gonna try repainting it but like you know it's gonna be a little bit hard but um yeah I do recommend all I do re recommend both of these and yeah that's pretty much it uh, let me know in the comments below which was your favorite Paris Royal Office, the Schleich or the Terra. Alright guys, so uh, that's going to wrap it up then. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, dinosaur. I just messed that up. Wow, so this is part... Anyway. Anyway, peace out, Dinotube community.